Hello everybody, and welcome to whatever this is. This camera shy, she keeps on running away. Stop running away! Stop running away! Oh, he's so adorable. Check out that cuteness. Yeah, that's a light drizzle. Quite. Yeah. Yeah. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. It's another job that's on the go. Chitting potatoes. So, excuse wobble vision, I'm still using a mobile phone. Um, because the other one's goosed and this one's too heavy for a gimbal mount. Um, situation update on this motherfucking thing. Um, still haven't managed to get it working correctly. Uh... Long version or short version? Hmm. Short version is eBay and PayPal found in our favour, so we got a refund yesterday, which is good. Thank fuck for that. Um, so that's a short version. Wind on if you want to. Um, long version is I've been all around the meter cupboard with the CT clamps, the solar CT clamp works absolutely fine. The grid side of the CT clamp has been absolutely just dead as a dodo, unresponsive. The original AC feed came in from the solar PV sub-consumer unit that all the grid-tied stuff is tied to in the house. So just in case it was that interfering with it, wired it into an umbilical three pin plug socket into the wall which comes off of the house grid ring main consumer unit um, and it still wouldn't read any consumption going in and out of the grid or bugger all it was just a brick so that's that side of things um, and with the CT clamp with a solar I even switched them over um, and it still wasn't reading anything from the grid. With regards to um, like operator interface, there's very, very few options on the touch screen. Whatever I touch is bloody unresponsive. The only sign of life I can get out of this via that touch buttons is the UPS uninterrupted power supply. If I turn that on and off, it starts to charge. So it's been quite handy having a manual charger that I can operate via the phone. Um, but even then it is so unresponsive. It's like I can poke the phone and ask it to charge go away for a shower, come out, and it's, you know, it's still sat there doing bloody nothing, and then five minutes later, it's decided to start charging. It's it's a bit glitchy, and it's been a right pain in the ass. Um, so, so far, it's not been much fun at all. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've got the refund, and that's hit the account all tickety-boo. They've not asked for this one back yet which is kind of weird, but they can pay the picking shipping. Unless they knew that it was a brick and they can just do it as a tax write-off now. So that's that. So far, it has been a sorry old soga. So, soga? What's a soga? Saga. So, what have we got in here? Dun, dun, dun. We have got a so far hide series inverter. So um, it will take all of the solar and charge the battery and blah, 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 yakety schmackety. It's got one CT clamp. So that's half of my problem. Well, that's my problems halved straight away. So it's only one CT clamp to worry about on the mains grid in and out. The plan was was to 
uh, the plan was was to replace the gum tree specials. <laughs> the plan was was to replace the gum tree specials and hang the inverter here. It's IP rated. It's all of this dust and detritus and shit doesn't really matter. But that level there is where the bus bars are on the inside of the metal work, metal workshop. Um, so by the time I was to poke holes in the wall for the battery cables to come through, the fucking inverter's all the way up in the sky. Um, it's not very practical. So I've opened another can of worms. We're going to go and replace it where the Lux is, which is all the way up there. So we're going to go and replace it where the Lux is. This then is going to be redundant, but it's exactly the same make and model um, that is in the loft of the house for the grid tide. So we've got a spare inverter now as well, just in case the one in the roof ever shits the bed. Okay. Um, one major downside of going into the Lux. One thing that I've enjoyed is my morning routine is I take all the meter readings and I love just seeing how much the Gumtree specials have made in their lifetime over the last couple of years since I got them off of Gumtree. You can get some really, really good stuff in the second-hand market, but you can also get caught with your pants down like I did with the Lux. It's the risk that you take. Um, but as long as you go with the PayPal and the eBay and whatever you've got a little bit of protection or a credit card, you've got a little bit of a protection as a consumer. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to miss that because I've not got space in, in the workshop for it. And also the PV cables coming in, um, one of the legs I've got loads of slack on it and one of the legs I've got no slack at all. So I need to make up some cables. Um, hopefully I'll just get away with making longer. No, oh, shit. No, I've got, I'll have to make a, a long run. Okay. I've got the cable. Um, that stuff that I got off of Facebook marketplace, a six mil cable. Uh, so I've got loads of cable but it's just a pain in the fucking ass. I was hoping to plug and play in an easy switch, but it's not going to be that way. It's a bit of a can of worms. Da, 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 da. Fucking crap everywhere. You'll excuse the mess. So, yes, back to the so far. Oh, no, I hear you say. More cheap Chinese high-frequency crap, but... Um, They've got a good report on the old Google and the old YouTube and things like that. Originally, I wanted to go for just an AC coupled, the SoFar ME3000, but they're really hard to get, um, which is how come we ended up going for that piece of shit, Lux. Um, so there's a mountain bracket for up on the wall. It hangs up on there like a picture. So it'll be a bit of an easier install. Um, bag of bits and bobs and Ujima flips. It's really, really well packaged. Really, really well packaged. It's got the old high density foam layer of cardboard and more foam. Oop. So there we have it. All nicely protected, so I've already had it out and I've already had a good look at it. And it's all in tip-top condition, very, very happy. So, yes, another can of worms. And so, uh, as much as it breaks my heart, I'm going to have to break all of this down. Luckily, stroke of luck... They're very, very similar in dimensions. The so far is only a tiny touch narrower. Um, and 
the mains for the battery and the AC is handed the same, so it's going to be near enough. Um, I've got to poke, so I've got to clear all this crap off, poke some holes in the wall, and get that sucker hung. Uh, and that's what I was meaning by I'm not going to be able to use my meter and things like that because I just can't figure out a way of getting it looking nice and neat. Not straight away. Um, because that meat has been put, you know, when it was fitted, it was sort of drilled into the side of it so it can go onto the side of the switch, blah, blah, blah. So it won't look pretty either. Um, and yeah, I would like to make it work. I'd like to have some metering on it, but really, an inverter should be able to keep count for me. But I would lose the lifetime totaler. So I'm quite bummed about that, actually. I've really enjoyed seeing how much the Gumtree specials have made because for £595, um, I bought that at the end of lockdown two in the UK for the old COVID. Um, so that was a couple of years ago. You know, in a couple of years, it's made 4000 and God knows whatever. So it's really performed really, really quite well. And the panels are still absolutely you know, absolutely on fire. Um, so a bit sad, but also nervous. Here we go again. Uh, the other thing about the so far as well is what reportedly it can all be done by the doodah and I've got a phone call. Be right back. Oh, well, that's a minor inconvenience. I'm going to have to scoot out quick. Uh, where was I? Right, yeah, evidently. One thing that's been driving me absolutely potty is the with the Lux inverter is everything is so heavily web-based or app-based. Even just like something dead simple with your your battery bulk charge voltage you can't do it via poking buttons you need to do it on the app on the mobile phone and you try and do it on the computer and there's no option there to change voltage you know via a pc or a mac so that's been really really fucking frustrating um the Firmware on the Lux inverter is several versions out of date. It won't connect to a device to be able to do a software update, which is available. Um, but it will talk, you know, it says won't connect to a device, won't connect to a device, retry, 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 get fucking nowhere. But I can fiddle about with settings on my mobile phone so it will connect to a bloody device but it won't bloody do an update and the one time that i did manage to get it to do to connect to a device to do a firmware update it just sat there and sat there and sat there did nothing and timed out um that was arse end of last week uh back last week um since then, I've, you know, I've lost all hope of it. And yeah, luckily enough, eBay and PayPal came for a winner. And it happened to be my birthday yesterday as well when the refund came in. So happy fucking birthday. And it was literally, it was really quite funny. So it was literally a case of, oh, we've got a refund for that other one. And ding dong at the door. And this one was being delivered all on my birthday so i was very happy so with this one you can do it all by via pokey wokey but it will also do the wi-fi and talk to computers and things like that um but it did come with a cable it comes with a computer cable that you can plug into a laptop as well so that if there is any um communication issues with shitty signals and things like that and I should be able to get over that as well so mm, 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 fingers crossed wish me luck i'll see you later bye bye for now take care